Happy Tuesday, friends. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresca with a look at your one minute weather. We've got some rain back in the forecast tomorrow as a front moves through the area. And you'll notice that the front tomorrow uh, will be different from last week's front. First of all, we're not going to see a threat for severe thunderstorms. There could be a few strong thunderstorms, a few claps of thunder. There will be some widespread rain showers with this. However, most of that rain will accompany the front behind it and it will linger into Thursday morning. So it's not going to move through quite as cleanly as last week's front. And we won't be dealing with the strong winds that last week's front provided. We will see some gusts anywhere between 25 to 30 miles per hour, potentially on Thursday. So for today, expect temperature readings to warm in the upper 70s to low 80s. A little bit of fog this morning that will be clearing out for this afternoon. And then let's talk about the World Series game six. First pitch at 7.09, some great looking weather. Obviously, regardless of the weather conditions, We've got a retractable roof, uh, but hopefully they leave the roof open for tonight. They are going to want to close that roof tomorrow as rain will be spreading from west to east due to that front. So let's time it out for you. The morning hours should stay mostly dry, but we do have some rain that could be popping up first thing on Wednesday morning. And then the radar potentially looking more active once we get into the lunchtime hour. There's going to be some heavier pockets of showers and thunderstorms out toward the hill country, and this is all all going to be pressing toward the south. You can see some of the heavier pockets of rain just in time for the evening commute and then continuing to slide southward. So by the end of game seven, and yes, an Astra's win, we could be dodging some downpours, some very slick roads for that ride home from Minute Maid Park. Now, overnight Wednesday into Thursday, there is still going to be some lingering moisture, some lingering rain showers. So right now, 30% chance of that rain lingering Thursday morning. And then the clouds will be sticking around and that's gonna hold temperatures steady into the 50s. We'll still see a breeze coming in from the north. We're talking 25 to 30 mile per hour gusts. So those feels like temperatures could be potentially even lower than the actual air temperature. So Thursday is going to be one of those really raw and miserable days because it is going to be cloudy and chilly. Um, you can see that the raincast is projecting anywhere between a half an inch to an inch for most areas, but there could be those isolated pockets of two to three inches, and that could lead to some street flooding issues around southeast Texas. Right now, five to 10 percent. You may be in and around that area of street flooding. So the temperature cast first thing Wednesday morning, upper 50s, low 60s. We'll see a brief warm up. Those of you south of the front during the afternoon will warm somewhere in the mid to upper 70s, maybe even a couple spots in the 80s. But notice the trend that colder air advecting into our area is going to keep temperatures steady into the 50s overnight Wednesday into Thursday morning, Thursday morning, waking up to temperatures in the upper 40s, low 50s to the north. And then heading into the afternoon with very little change. We're talking a difference in temperatures from the morning and the afternoon of only five or eight degrees. So it is just going to be really, really miserable on Thursday. By Friday, we do have uh, the sunshine returning and that sun will warm us back up into the mid 60s. Overnight lows falling. Saturday morning in the 40s. You're going to want to make sure you have those jackets ready for any sort of uh, early morning soccer games or uh, sports games by the afternoon, upper 60s to low 70s. This is the weekend where daylight saving time comes to an end. So you want to fall back one hour and then heading into next week with some changes in the weather pattern. Once again, we're warming up temperatures uh, overnight in the 50s and 60s with highs in the mid to upper 70s. That's a look at your forecast on this Tuesday. Thanks for watching and go Strohs.